Well, I'm called David Chambers, I'm a birth certificate. And uh, I've always believed it, so that's what people call me. They call me Dave. I don't know, I just, right from a child, I just felt it, and I always wanted to be a fisherman. How it all started was, um, things got bad, and I had enough. I couldn't see that all the work I was putting into farming, there was no return. I, I was always on the bank, I was always ducking and diving, and I thought, ah, oh, this is silly. And I said, that's it. I'm going to take the bull by the horns, I'm going fishing. So I went on to a 40-foot uh, cobble from Yorkshire, and I worked on that offshore for a year. What's the cobble day? It, it's a big wooden boat, a very big one. They're designed and worked for the beach off Yorkshire mainly. Um, very narrow, very long, good sea boat, and had some many memorable trips in it, board springing, riding storms. Oh, we had some good laughs. And the skipper was a Yorkshireman, and I remember being there one day, and uh, we took this new chap with us, and he started crying because the water was coming over the side, and the pumps are hardly coping, and we're bucketing. <laughs> Old Alex used to say, "Bah, gum lad, you'll not drown the day. It's too rough. You only drown on days when it's flat." <laughs> and I've never forgot that saying with him, and it's something I used to say to the crews and that that I uh, had. I'd saved up and bought a beach boat, put it to sea, worked it four weeks and then suddenly I decided it looked quite nice on the bottom. I didn't want it to sink but it did. I was working it in a rough storm one day, shouldn't have been there really I'll be honest. But when you're skint, like all fishermen you'll find, when that's really rough, the only boats that leave the quay are not the brave, the ones that are hard up. And I was out there working and anyway, we took a big swell over the top and the boat went down in four minutes. I got the crew off and I had to swim out. Got home and the worst thing was phoning the wife up. I've just been rescued. Oh no, she said. I said, the boat's at the bottom. She said, oh no, everything we got, you've used everything. I said, don't worry, that'll come right. That'll come right, next trip. And that's always been my saying, next trip. I then went back with a number of divers from Northampton that gave all their time up free. I was donated a big um, 35 foot cruiser and I took that with the divers and we lifted it up with airbags, all donated. And um, yeah, it was brilliant, got it you back. Went got your own, you went and got your own bow off the bottom of the seabed? Yeah, brought it back in the yard here, rebuilt it in seven days and took it back and from that day I worked and worked and we are where we are today because of it. No way, so you built your business on a boat that you sunk and brought back up? That's correct, yeah.